So, how did you find an eye? Shame. Hermes could have been carved into really nice jack-o'-lanterns. No one should notice one bell missing. King Edward gave us everything we have. His legacy was tarnished in his later years, but he was a once great man. And he left me with a daven tree to grow into the kingdom it is today. Uh, how precious. The badger wanted to make friends with the squirrels. Dumb lanterns are always breaking. You hear that, Chester? You're a hack! Not everyone around here takes pride in their work like I do. Unfortunately, those blue flames are the only things that spook the pack. So I'm forced to return to their shop of wizardry and toiletries. Wedzel wolves are super aggressive this time. The hills of Serenia for mating season. But like us, they are stranded here until the bridges are fixed. Hey, kid, can you do me a favor? I can try. Can you help me keep that back door closed? I run the local Wedzel Wolf Watch program here in town. There's patches getting made. If you keep that door closed, you can be an official member. Think it over. Patches! I walked into town with my last coin. Whatever path I chose to pursue for my eye would need to be cheap. the delivery boy, are you? That merchant is usually so prompt with our air, miraculous, and oftentimes delicious ingredients. Oh, hush feathers, Chester. This boy's no courier. He desires a position in King Edward's court. He appears to be a compassionate gentleman, but he is clearly out of his convent zone. He is one who needs to think more with his brain and less with his heart if he is going to defeat the contenders in this year's night tournament. Zounds! Did you just read my fortune? No, we're just very old and very judgmental people. It's true, we're judges. This is my judging face. Uriel and I don't read fortunes anymore. Yep, there was no future in it. Well, we've shifted our core business to potions, curiosities, and the occasional practical joke. <laughs> uh, we gladly share our wisdom for free, but everything else starts at one shiny gold coin. Take a look around, boy. Let us know if you like anything you see. He 
Something mysterious and magical was brewing in that pot. It looked like some type of broken lantern. What are these little guys? Those are bird bombs. Our own invention. Kind of like a smoke bomb, but they release gas that will cause your victim to cluck like a chicken. <laughs> Temporarily, of course. Those ones are expired, though, so they're just for display. He reminds me of our son. <sighs> I always miss him this time of year. He dreamed of becoming a knight. How can we help? Ooh, how much for that candle? Our everlasting blue flame lantern? The housing's broken. Someone brought it in for repair but never paid. Tell you what, if you bring us something we can hollow out to house the candle, you can have it for the price of one shiny gold coin. Do you have any eyes of hideous beasts in stock? An eye, you say? Yes, yes. Uh, your name, please? Uh, it's Graham. Last name? Graham. Graham, Graham, with a G, I assume. Hmm. I don't see your name on this list. Well, you did pre-order, right? Uh, pre-order? Oh, yes, this time of year our eyes fly off the shelves. If you haven't pre-ordered, you're out of luck. Our eyes are completely on back order. If you'd like, we can put you on the waiting list for our next shipment. When will that arrive? We get shipments every eight months. I'm afraid that won't work. Well, hang on a sec. It's Graham, right? May we bend your ear for a bit? Bend away. You need an eye for the tournament, I'm guessing. Yes, I have always dreamed of... Bendums this and proclamations that. It seems a frightful business. Do you have any idea how many royal guards we lose to that voracious moat monster? Well, my father was a knight, and my grandfather was a knight, and my great-grandfather... Well, he was a dentist, but his father was a knight. Basically, I come from a long line of protecting crowns. I started looking for night jobs while I was still in the academy, but once I graduated, all the opportunities had dried up. I might not fit in here, but Daventry's my last shot. Oh, you'll fit in just fine. It might be too late to capture the rule-defined eye of a hideous beast, but rules will bend for those who can outsmart the rule-makers. So, I've just got to know, what is brewing in that cauldron? Is it a transfiguration elixir? Is it an invincibility potion? If I drink it, will I understand the language of creatures? Will I sprout the wings of an eagle? Or a fly? Oh, this? Teeth whitening potion. Oh, it's got to change everything. Watch this. Behold the power of whitening! Oh, well, oh, well. Oh, well, well, we're still working out the kinks. While we're still in the prototype phase, feel free to dip whatever you want in there free of charge. How's that teeth whitening potion coming? While we're still working on it, you can dip whatever you want in it for free. No guarantees it'll come out white, though. Fare thee well. Always look on the smart side of life. Hey, Graham. If you like sharp things, you've come to the right place. We have over 23. Oh, forgive me. Last night was a little rough. 
I woke up on the floor, my bed nowhere to be found. Can you believe that? What type of Yahoo steals a bed while you're sleeping in it? And the most curious part, nothing else is missing. Anyway, take a look around. Let me know if something piques your interest. Back away from the crumbler. Unless you have 50 gold coins for a work order. You can post a work order on anything you want lifted, chopped, or crumbled. Then I'll bring out Mrs. Crumbler to fulfill the order. Oh. Don't touch that, Graham, or you might be the one losing an eye. So, you know what you want? Do you have any idea where I can hunt down an eye of a hideous beast? What a glorious day for a tournament. My favorite time of year. Fire ride new recruits, the clanks and clinks of armor clashing, and the action the very finest. One hopeful always rises to the occasion. I love it all. Some people in town, they complain about the barbaric events, but it's a tradition I'm proud to be a part of. If I was competing, I'd go after the biggest, scariest beast I could find even if it meant certain death. As they say, fortune favors the bold. You, on the other hand, have a kind heart. Probably wouldn't blind a beast just to win a competition. Your arms look like they've never even held a bow. No, you're just too nice. But perhaps you'll prove me wrong. So, I've been meaning to ask. What is that amazing blade for? Is it for battling vicious werebears? How many ice orcs has it slain? Does it deal justice? Is it road legal? Is it made of fear? Oh, that? No, no, that's for gardening. I use it to trim my hedges. Seeing as my place is all tended to, and my petunias are most lovely, I'm willing to part with it for the price of one shiny gold coin. I'm sure you've got a prickly situation that needs attending. How much for that gardening tool? One shiny gold coin. What was your advice again? One that can cut through all the new policies and rules, and instead get out there and protect our borders from enemies. We need a knight that can fight off our dragons. Bye. Forget what those other guys say. A sword is mightier than a pen. It sure would be great to get some tourists back in here. These decorative blades aren't gonna display themselves. Every time the word distress rings through this town, I run out in the hope it's a call to action. Nope. More angry bees and incompetent guards. Hello there, and good afternoon, if I do say so myself. Sometimes you roll the dice, and they all come up wenty. Even though the bridges are out, and my supplier has gone missing, I sold yesterday's bread when I wasn't even here. Oh, I wish more people were that trustworthy around Daventry. Now, you fine strapping lad, how may I help you? Those hobble pots should try love instead of trickery. The pranks get old.
Hmm. Amaya looked like she needed a hug today. I make frosting in the day for pastries, and in the night for nibbling. Oh, custard! Oh, just like my mom used to make. Oh, I'm saving that pie for a special occasion. Uh, sorry. Did you figure out what you want to order? Got any free samples? Oh, today only. I'm letting people sample our new walnut strudel. However, I ran out of bitter root. It's really nasty on its own, but it really brings out the nutty flavor of the strudel. It usually grows under big, heavy rocks. If you can find me some, you can have all the free samples you want. That's not a delicious, chocolate, hideous beast eye cake I smell cooking, is it? Looking for an eye, are you? Well, it must be that time of year again. Frankly, I can't tolerate it. The Fays weren't raised that way. It's archaic! So much fighting and needless killing! Compassion comes from the heart, you know? As does food! If you want to get to the heart of any problem, all you need is pie! You look like a compassionate fella, uh, like myself. And I think we're going to get along right as raisins. Uh, please, don't take part in the violence. What's today's special? <laughs> oh, well, today I am baking up quite the treat. Grandma's star shroom pie. A delicacy big enough to feed an army. Or someone with the appetite of an army. I've eaten it in one sitting before. Well, don't judge. No one would trust a skinny baker, now would they? Unfortunately, my ingredients haven't been delivered. And I can't complete the recipe. Until those bridges get fixed, people will just have to settle for the love in my goat hoof pie instead. Ah, uh, tell you what. If you can find me some starberries and sugar shrooms, you can have this monster pie for the discounted price of one gold coin. So where can I find the ingredients for that giant pie? I'll also need one gold coin. But which ingredient? The sugar shrooms. They are pink and only grow in cold, dark areas. The starberries. They are yellow and uh, tend to grow high on trees in sunny areas. Never mind. Good day. Have a sweet time!
<laughs> that pumpkin was housing too many squirrels for my taste. Pick, pick, pickety pick. Strange. Pick the far fun berries and place them in the basket. I have to get these all picked before I can go home. Leave me be so I can finish my work. A new kind of horn, but the same result. Wherever you are hiding, hideous beasts, Whisper will find you. I was too slow to catch those frogs. Nothing quiet about Whisper. Hey, Gordon, how's the back of my cape look? Whisper is the reason mirrors were invented. Whisper is running. Wherever you are hiding, hideous beasts, Whisper will find you. Do squirrels count as hideous? I tried again, but it was no use. Come into the daylight, you hideous... the most secure job west tournament theater north town square south under development coming next spring
Hasn't anyone told you it's not polite to go stomping around on people's backs? Give me one good reason not to gobble you up right now. Because, because, like yourself, I too am a bridge troll. See? You're pretty ugly for a troll. A long nose and a bushy tail like that. Are you sure you're not a bridge bandicoot? To where I come from, trolls and bandicoots are best friends. Oh. Where I come from, the sweet taste of delicious bandicoot tail helps to relieve back itch. And my back is really, really itchy. Well then, I am most certainly a bridge troll. Oh, I'm sorry I didn't believe you. It's just that I've been crossed so many times. One more time? And I might emotionally collapse. Would you be so kind to accept my apology and join me in the secret dance of the Bridge Troll Guild? Oh, yes, of course, the troll dance. I uh, only know the traditional Ludor version, so you should start. Very well, Tiny Bandicoot. Yeah. Oh, can't stop. All right. Oh, you got some great moves, Mr. Bandy. You are most certainly a bridge troll. What did you want from Alfie? You wouldn't happen to know where I can find an eye of a beast, would you? Is it time for the tournament already? I thought that was on Tuesday. Oh, bother. My memory's failing again. Alfie's been suffering from sleep deprivation. A very rude monster has been snarling in the bushes behind my back. Is this monster you speak of hideous, perchance? Snarling Snarlax is legendarily hideous. Those puny guards of Daventry would surely be impressed by his eye. It is rumored. The beast has two purple eyes with bright blue glowing pupils, six legs, three claws, and one tooth. I could let you cross and perhaps even help you with that fire-eyed monster, but since Ulfie didn't eat you, Ulfie needs a pick-me-up. This big tooth is a sweet one. If you bring me something to eat, I'll consider helping you. What are all those weird instruments around the bridges for? Usually those horns are used to summon its associated bridge troll to fill the gap. But we have removed all mouthpieces until we get word from the head of the guild. Ulfie was instructed to keep all his horns hidden from humans. <laughs> I keep mine under my butt. Shh. Can you share with me why all the bridges seem to be missing in Daventry? Well, little Bandy, until further notice, the Bridge Troll Guild is officially on strike. 
For too long have we, the Bridges, have been stomped on by sharp-pointed shoes of the puny guards. And do they care that my back breaks out in an itchy rash from all that marching? Of course not! As Pilar says, for shame, Davrentry! We're not going back to work until the Kingdom can take better care of their roads. I should be at the meeting. Perolfi always shows up fashionably late. <laughs> right when the croissants are served. Can you tell me about that Snarlax's eyes again? The legendary flame-eyed monster back there behind me has purple eyes with glowing blue pupils. Ulfi will help you retrieve them if you bring him a sweet-tasting snack. Happy trails. Scamper back quick, little bandicoot. Ulfi is starving. Better stand on this side of the rock. It wouldn't budge. <laughs> oh, what a peculiar trap. Don't worry. The Wedzels will be here soon, Princess Madeline. I have to say, I'm pretty impressed with the craftsmanship of these traps. I wasn't always the master archer you see before you now. How'd you learn? <laughs> we'll get to that part. Fantastical floating island, only steps away. It's so floaty, you'll be amazed. Don't turn right, no floating islands that way. Kids, don't stop screaming until Dad pulls over the wagon. <sighs> I 
This was on my bucket list. Starberries framed a serene view. Shame about that buzzing beehive, though. My love, you're my everything. I might not have enough money for a ring yet, but I just can't wait any longer. Will you be mine forever? I better put this back. That didn't need a bell. I never waste food. Bees! I ruined the bees' day. <laughs> that lovely meal. I tucked the berries away for later, even though I was craving a cliffside snack. Hay bale. Out of those flowers! Put that sack lunch down! Hmm. <sighs> no patch for you. You know why. And that's why you shouldn't <laughs> And that's why you Thank you. 
Did you figure out what you want to order? Good day. <laughs> oh, great day! These starberries are perfectly ripe. Just squishy enough, and with a faint scent of musky cabbage. Now, if you can find me the sugar shrooms, she's all yours. For the discounted rate of one shiny gold coin. Was he trying to set the record for the world's biggest pie? My favorite part is the frosting. The sign read, ask us about our free samples. I am here to serve. So, where can I find the ingredients for that giant pie? I'll also need one gold coin. And I already have the starberries. But which ingredient? Never mind. Good day. Aren't you glad you came here today? I only accept payment on delivery. Bring me the missing ingredients first, then pay me. I never waste food. <laughs> that pumpkin was housing too many squirrels for my taste. Of course, the one good pumpkin had to be guarded by squirrels. Ew, gross.
Will the squirrels remember that? <laughs> the squirrels will most certainly remember that. That's far too savory for my shop. Hey, Graham. Please don't go around poking everything with that. That didn't need a bell. Ugh, would you stay out of the lovely garden and get back into danger? Reminds me of our son. <sighs> I always miss him this time of year. He dreamed of becoming a knight, too. I wish he would visit more. Or at least right. He was quite handy around the shop, though. Especially with potions. He'll return. He just has some adventures of his own to seek. dried reptile skins. Well, uh, where did you leave them, dear? You ate them again, didn't you? No, 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 of course not. Fine, yes, I did. I used them on my toast this morning, and I'm not sorry. Ah, oh, youth. Remember what it felt like to be young? I remember where you proposed. Just outside the caves up in the great mountains. Oh, such a beautiful day. Well, until our picnic was stolen. Oh, yes. I had to wrestle our lunch away from the eldest bear. Dear, I think you mean the barest elder. Oh, you're right. It was the bear. Now. Give us one shiny gold coin, and the beautiful blue flame lantern will be all yours. So you spent your only coin to buy the lantern? I did. I figured that lantern would light an alternate path to find an eye. Thanks, dearie. And here's your lovely pumpkin lantern with a glowing blue flame candle.
These are my eyes. That didn't need a bell. You poked? No. Po Find your own eyes. You just... My love, you're my everything. I might not have enough money for a ring yet, but I just can't wait any longer. Will you be mine forever? I better put this back. Someone had set the scene for a lovely evening. Someone had set the scene for a lovely evening.
<laughs> All right, sugar shrooms. Wow, these sugar shrooms look amazing. Just the right amount of shroomy and not too sugary. Now, if you pass me one shiny gold coin, Grandma's giant star shroom pie is all yours. Are you ready to order? We must put some... Oh, hope you're hungry. Good day. Don't get in any rhubarbs. Yes. Fare thee well. May your brain be filled with knowledge. are always good for a distraction or two. Doesn't need to be illuminated. That didn't need a bell. An overgrown patch of spiniferous thorn weeds obstructed a path to the water well. The well with the ginormous dragon in it? Perhaps. That doesn't need to be illuminated. That didn't need a bell. Graham. That didn't need a bell. 
Ready for action? How much for that gardening tool? One shiny gold coin. Bye. Make your move. I hope Amaya got the care package I sent her. She needs to stop working such late nights all the time. Figure out what you want? Good day. Don't desert me! <laughs> Wherever you are hiding, hideous beasts, Whisper will find you. Do squirrels count as hideous? Come into the daylight, you hideous beasts. Whisper can do it. There's nothing quiet about Whisper. Hey, Gordon, how's the back of my cape look? Ah, I remember my first beast eye. It was one of those snaky hydras. Nearly killed me. I figured it had twenty some. Are you in possession of an eye? Hey, little bandicoot. Happy trails. Scamper back quick, little bandicoot. Ulfi is starving. The announcement board was covered until round two of the tournament. The announcement board was covered until round two of the tournament.
That did wasn't strong enough to move that rock. That didn't need a bell. That doesn't need to be a little.
Hey, Graham. Ready for action? What was your advice again? We need a traditionally brave knight in Daventry. One that can cut through all the new policies and rules, and instead get out there and protect our borders from enemies. We need a knight that can fight off our dragons. Bye. Fortune favors the bold, and Amaya favors the fortune. Don't touch that, Graham, or you might be the one losing an eye. You can post a work order on anything you want lifted, chopped, or crumbled. Then I'll bring out Mrs. Crumbler to fulfill the order. Someone has to have a bed I can borrow. Someone has to have a bed I can borrow. Yes, lad? So, where can I find the ingredients for that giant pie? Oh, she's all ready to go. Just need one shiny gold coin. Good day. Have a sweet day. Wish that teeth whitening potion would have worked. I'd never brush my teeth again. I'm not sure that's how it works, sweetheart. This will work great for dipping. Go ahead and dunk it. Ta-da! Hmm, purple. Well, uh, yeah, ta-da! Here you go, boy.
getting that patch. Now keep out. That didn't need a bell. You're out of the wolf pack. Grandpa, that's not going to work. How did the bell work on that? Wish that teeth whitening potion would have worked. I'd never brush my teeth again. I'm not sure that's how it works, sweetheart. Oh, what are these little guys? Those are bird bombs. Our own invention. Kind of like a smoke bomb, but they release gas that will cause your victim to cluck like a chicken. <laughs> Temporarily, of course. Those ones are expired, though, so they're just for display. I think those drops of toad spittle were a good ad for the invisibility potion. Oh, next time we'll... How's that teeth whitening potion coming? While well, we're still working on it, you can dip whatever you want in it for free. No guarantees it'll come out white, though. Fare thee well. May your quest be logic field. to set the record for the world's biggest pie? The sign read, ask us about our free samples. Yes, lad? How do I get my free sample? Well, bring me some bitter root. It's what I need to finish my walnut strudel. It grows under big, heavy rocks. 
How do I get my free sample? Well, bring me some bitter root. It's what I need to finish my walnut strudel. It grows under big, heavy rocks. Good day. Bye bye. doesn't need to be illuminated. Like me, this little tree was new in town and needed some time to grow and find its way. What? Too sappy? <laughs> I have nothing to say. You'll warm up to it. How's it going, little bandicoot? Happy trails. Scamper back quick, little bandicoot. Ulfie is starving.
caution. Bees and distress. Are you in possession of an eye? That is a bell, not an eye. I'm ready for the presentation. I have extracted an eye from the most hideous of beasts. Whoa, the snarling snarlax. It's so purple and flamey. Right this way. Well done. For those brave souls that are still with us, welcome back. Now. You may have heard some squawking from a few naysayers in our kingdom concerned with the ethics of the tournament. But proclamations and addendums aside, this is the way we have always done it in Daventry, and this is the way we will continue to do it. Now, Knight Hopefuls, if you would be so kind as to present your eyes. Oh, hold still. I thought it was the two-eyed snarling snarlax with six legs, three claws, and one tooth. Oh, I've heard of a three-eyed species, but very rare. You just completely made that up. My uncle once caught a five-eyed. Congratulations, everybody. We officially accept all the eyes presented. I'll see you in the duels. Take that and that! Oh. Mr. Springbottom. What? You're surprised I'm competing in the stuffed animal tournament. You know what? I will make some stories of my own. <laughs> I'll pick up where my last book left off. It was called 31 Ways to Slay a Monster. Yar! Surprise! Mr. Springbottom! <gasps> Gwendolyn! I'm sorry, Grandma. Oh, I'll take care of it, dear. I came to tell you your grandfather is ready for you. Run along, go have some adventures. Just try to have your next adventure away from my glass vases, please. Now it's time for my favorite part of the tournament. The duels! Ha <laughs> ha! You will compete against each other in a duel of strength and a duel of speed, with the winners facing off in a championship duel of wits. The pairings of knights were selected at random, so no complaining. I'm looking at you, Whisper. Any ties will be settled in sudden death. The winner, of course, will gain the knight position. The duel of strength will take place at our fantastical and wondrous floating island. And bring your steed to the tournament theatre for the duel of speed. Please unveil the tournament ball. I will remain here for any questions. And good luck to you. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I almost forgot. Has anyone seen that archer knight around? He probably headed home. He mentioned how hard it was for him to be away from his family. Whisper saw him headed towards the dark, scary well. Well, proclamation 4637373713467378 states that any knight who voluntarily leaves a competition needs to sign the release form on the back of his portrait. We've had problems in the past. Do I have any volunteers to track down his signature? Wonderful. Thank you, Pockets. Here's his portrait. If you could get him to sign it, that would be great. And talk to me if you have any further questions. Let the duels commence! Which did you tackle first? The duel of speed or the duel of strength? 